This video is brought to you by Cool Green Clothing. Cool Green Clothing is a Baltimore-based clothing line that started back in 2018 and has been growing strong ever since. Make sure you follow Cool Green Clothing on Facebook and IG at Cool Green Clothing and check out their website, coolgreenclothing.com, where you can find the latest Cool Green fashions and hats, women's apparel, and the latest men's collection. Remember, if you ain't coolin' and get in the green, you're in the way. Ralph Lauren, name is Brandon Itself. That's yes, what I did myself. Yes, My name is AC Green. Yes, so I yes, turn AC to cool, you got cool green. Mm -hmm. And if you ain't cool and get in the green, you're in the way. That's just basic. You know what I mean? Gang, gang. So, yeah. Hey, the cool green is the shit. <laughs> the cool green is, if you don't get no other authentic t shirt, come down here to my man and represent for the brother Cool Green Clothing. <laughs> That's C O O L G R E E N clothing line. That's why I spell the it best, out for The him, best, man. the best clothing line you could ever, ever get, bro. The <laughs> best clothing line. The good Cool Green. Man, how you hear about us? Been through the good video with man Tony two times. <laughs> all the way from Annapolis to support Cool Green. My man come down all the way from Annapolis, man. That's What's going on, YouTube fan? It's your boy Tony two times, and we back with another episode of the Baltimore Way, man. Before I start, be sure to like, comment, share. Definitely watch the video to the end. Let's get right into it. Okay. It's different kinds of hustles in the streets. Some people trap, selling anything to make a dollar. Some people rob, looking for victims all over, in hopes of hitting that big lick. Some people scam, white collar crime. They get you the bag while carrying less time if caught. But then you got other people that if you call them with the right amount of cash and you got beef with somebody, they will do your dirty work for you. Murder for hire or taking hits. The rules in the game is simple, never personal, all business. But how much is a life worth? And sometimes business does get personal. On this episode of the Baltimore Way, we will talk about a man named Tavon Slow and two alleged murder for hire plots that ended Tavon with almost 30 years in prison. When two men allegedly got into a fight on Patterson Park and Chase Street, the situation would escalate. When one of the men involved called Tavon, telling him he wanted to get the other man out the way. The contract hit was for $5,000, and which Tavon allegedly accepted. And on March 16, 2012, the man called Tavon's cell phone about 2.30 p.m. When Tavon drove to meet the man, he was with another man, in which the one who set up the hit told the two exactly what the victim was wearing and where he last saw him at. About 90 minutes later, about 14 shots was fired on the 2300 block of East Chase Street, leaving the victim dead on the scene. The job was done, but video surveillance in the area caught the alleged shooter run back to the whip, in which Tavon was the driver and the other man was the alleged shooter. But about a few months later, in March 2013, given direction by the feds, the same alleged shooter that was with Tavon called him from a jail phone, saying he was just caught up and got a lot of time for something else and was set up by one of his homies he knew since they was four years old. The man then told Tavon, I need you to take care of that, in which Tavon agreed, but requested that two blickies be provided and a going rate five rats for the hit in which the man told Tavon he would have someone call him to meet him with that later. Little did Tavon know, everything was being set up by the feds. On April 26, 2013, at the feds' direction, an undercover officer met with Tavon to discuss the hit. Then they agreed to meet later for the two blickies and the cash. Tavon was mad he only received three racks and no blickies yet though. But Tavon went with the situation anyway. But when his homie called from jail the second time, Tavon allegedly told his homie if the target wasn't alone, he was gonna hit whoever was with him. And he also stated concerned about the woman his homie sent with the money, saying he did not know her. But his homie assured everything was good, and on April 30th, Tavon was supposed to meet and get the blickies for the hit, but he never showed up. Tavon was arrested on August 8th, 2013 for an alleged gun and drug charges. But it didn't stop there. The same homie who was working with the feds called Tavon's half-brother to try to hire him for the same fake hit, telling police he paid Tavon and his brother for hits before. When a man called Tavon's brother, he agreed to the hit also. 
But later that day, he got a call from Tavon from a recorded jail phone. Tavon's brother told him that his homie had called him and he was about to handle the situation for him. Telling his brother he just had to meet with the man's girlfriend and get everything. Tavon told his brother to hold up and be careful. He didn't trust it. He also thought the lady he met with was the feds. And he also stated that he met up with her before and got some money, but when it was time to get the blickies, he never showed up. But the cake was already baked. With recorded calls and wiretaps from Tavon's meeting with her, evidence was more than enough. The last shooter from the first hit and Tavon's co-defendant received 30 years in prison for discharging a firearm during the crime resulting in death. Tavon was also found guilty of two murder for hire contracts and received 27 years in prison. Everything was set up because one of Tavon's homies was trying to cooperate for a lesser sentence. Hits happen in the streets, unfortunately, and life goes for cheap when the wolves are trying to eat. But in the long run, it's an endless cycle of death and incarceration. More of this story, watch your homie. Loyalty don't mean nothing no more. It's every man for themselves. But hey, that's the Baltimore way. Man, crazy story, you feel me? That's a crazy situation. So Tavon and his brother was allegedly taking hits, allegedly. So one of the dudes that was paying them to do the hits got jammed up, you know what I mean? Called Tavon, in which he still trusted him at the time and told him he needs something taken care of. Made up a whole story about a whole nother person on a recorded call, cause the feds told him to call him. You feel me? It's crazy, you know what I mean? Then when Tavon got jammed up, Cause he realized that they was the feds dude ain't stopped there he called his brother and tried to get him on the same situation if Tavon ain't never called home his brother would have went for the dummy mission too so yeah man you gotta watch it out here you feel me it's crazy because a lot of people go into situations thinking like the money is a lot of money or thinking if they do it enough they can make a lot of money but five racks of body, you feel me? You gotta hit like 20 people just to make a hundred thousand dollars, you know what I mean? So it ain't worth it, man. Crazy story. And plus, you feel me, ending up with 27 years because one of your homies you thought was solid or ended up, you feel me, thinking he was real, he got jammed up and told them something about something they ain't even know. But that's how it be, man. Crazy story, man. But y'all already know that's how it go. It's another episode of the Baltimore Way, man. Y'all know I appreciate the love and support. Like always, be sure to like, comment, share. You feel me? Definitely subscribe if you're new to the fam. Follow me on IG at underscore Tony two times. For video ideas, email me at tony2times.biz at gmail. Love y'all fam. I'm out.